Hello and welcome to trying to watch the, what was it called, the Not Dreamworks collection. Um, I'm here with uh, Jim from Jar Media, he's my uh, assistant for this one. Good day, Manus. Yeah, um, we're going to figure out the order of which to watch. Um, it might be a little bit different to the main Search for the Worst video, but we've really got to like figure it out. Because I don't, the two of them are about bees. I don't want to watch two movies about bees, one after the other. So let's figure out our order. Jim, you you, you choose which one we start with. Where are the bees ones? Look, there's Plan B and there's uh, Little B. Yeah. So you got to choose. We got to choose some kind of order here. Some some order to this chaos. Hmm. I'm quite liking the look of Ratatouille. To be honest. What was the first one? Yeah. Put Ratatouille as the first one. And then I'll choose... Uh, I, I want to do Little B. Secondly, I want to get that one over with. Now you choose one. Hmm. I'm going to go with Plan B. Plan B? No, fuck off. That's what we just said we can't do. Seeing as Little B is your least favourite, I'm going to go with my least favourite and go with Little and Big Monsters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, uh, man, it's like having to choose the way you want to die. <laughs> uh, I want to get life's a jungle. Life's a jungle? Life's a jungle, yeah. Is it possible to do plan B yet? Yeah, I think that's fine. This is my plan B. <laughs> plan B, there are only four left. Just throw in chop, it, chop kick panda. Panda. Yeah. That's a safe bet, that one. Seems as this one's quite unique in that it's got a DVD case from the fucking caveman era. <laughs> and let's just do Puss in Boots. A furry tail. There we go. Sorted. Let me just get one final shot of this order. And this is what we're going to do. Jim, what is Ratatouille a, a, a rip-off of? Uh, Bugs Life? No. There's <laughs> obviously Ratatouille, but this is the Not Dreamworks collection, so there has to be another link. What is the link? Uh, uh, flushed Away! Flushed Away. Remember that hit classic? That was a With the classic. slugs, them they were minions. Yeah, minion slugs. Fake um plasticine. It's great that are these names or Yeah it is. But it's in French, I think. Or um Spanish. Well names are universal. No, but look, textur texturas. Setup de personages. What, you know, what who made us. this movie? Like what <laughs> nation? Um I think they're from Brazil, actually. Brazil? Yeah. So. <laughs> Argy just slammed the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> He's not letting us escape this movie. So, I'm pretty sure this film is actually made by the same people who made... Uh... The Monsters vs. Aliens one, that's in this same video. You mean Little Monsters vs. Big Monsters? <laughs> is that actually what it's called? It's called something like this. <laughs> no, it's called Little and Big. Monsters, monsters, that's it. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I can't remember if I actually introduced you in the intro or not. Did I? What's up, guys? It's me. <laughs> it's me. We have the same voice, apparently, according to everyone in the YouTube comments for the last Trying to Watch we did. You're the same person as I, because you have English accent. Or oh, you're the same person as I. Ooh, that's getting deep. Just to taste the famous recipes served there. <laughs> why is it written like this? Why is everything so tiny? <laughs> well, I mean, why why is everything rat, so Jim. no? Why is everything so massive? But it sh just showed the building to be like normal size. Did you have any doubts, sir? I'm just looking at your face. It's brilliant. 
came from a great How long is this? <laughs> it's 44 minutes long. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at that drawing in the background. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rio de Janeiro. Jewel of South America and where the most gifted chef in town is. A mouse? Marcel Toings is the world's best chef and his restaurant Ratatouille is always packed. But how does he do it? Mouse traps, cats and evil mice all try to try at stop Marcel, his friends from exceeding. There's actually a sp like a spelling error on the back. There's two. Is there, where's the other one? Have I got to it yet? Yeah, the, when it says his name. <laughs> that apostrophe shouldn't be there, I'm fucking for real. Oh yeah. Mouse traps, cats and evil mice all try at stop Marcel and his friends from succeeding. Oh, Join Marcel and his friends, Carol and Greg, as they risk everything to obtain the best food in town. All the family will love this hilarious and fun-packed adventure that is Ratatouille. The thing is, like, why do they even put any effort into the film? You know? Like, this can't be anyone's vision. <laughs> like, like, they've won. If you're watching it, they have won. Right? Yeah. If you've bought the DVD and you put it in, that's more than they ever, like, expected to get from this. So, why did they even bother? They might as well have just had the rat on a white screen just been like, Sorry, but I didn't make a movie. Would you show this to your child? What? Would you show this to your child? No. They, they wouldn't be able to sleep for, like, the rest of their life. <laughs> it's quite creepy, isn't it? How the fuck did they manage to make it look like he's on a green screen in an animated movie? <laughs> Look at how low res the background is. You made a funny comment earlier when you said it's like those steam like green light yeah. <laughs> games, but as a movie. They same they they serve the same purpose as well. Why he had no pupils just then? What a weird sentence. That's great. While you take care of finishing in the kitchen. What sentence hasn't been a weird sentence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. They've escaped. The Thursday night mission. What do you do on your Thursday you know night mission? I watch Ratatouille. <laughs> this is so fucking awful. <laughs> this is so shit. Why is it like a, a completely white background? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> Where are you, House of Mouse? <laughs> Where are you, Marcel Toyn? <laughs> well, I'm preferring it when they're in this realm. <laughs> this is my favorite realm so far. You can't do that when, like, you can't see the background. Like, it means nothing. That is pretty cool. Avengers trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Infinity War trailer. <laughs> Infinity War tra <laughs> <laughs> Shall I just take that snippet and upload it so it's yeah. leaked? Where are they going? What are they doing, Jim? They're getting food for their restaurant. The secret recipe is human food. Oh, is it? So it's a bit complex for me to understand. Do you know, do you know what this animation reminds me of? What? You know, we the other day we were watching those um, Pac-Man vs. Mario um, <laughs> videos on YouTube. Yes. Sh this, this shit is just like that. It is actually, it's really but, similar. But it looks worse. It does look worse. <laughs> and that, the person who made those was definitely like 14. <laughs> no older. The thing is, we're just scratching the surface. This is the first one of nine. The first one. It's and this won't nice. even be the worst one. Like, this will be nice. This will be really nice. This one is like... some of the others. This is like an hour shorter than one of them. One of them is an hour and 40 minutes long. Yeah, exactly. He's draining me. He's draining me as well, Jim. It feels like one of the... Why is he walking like that? What's wrong with him? It's got arthritis. <laughs> they have these like 10 minute long scenes explaining something that you could say in like two seconds. <laughs> the whole film is like filler. <laughs> They're just like, let's do our own one. 
There is this thing called a bathroom that you can go in and you may use it to go to the toilet. That is a thing that many people can do. Humans do that all the time. Rats do not use those. Is this what a bad trip feels like? <laughs> oh, you're making me like imagine like... You should edit frames of this into like, train sporting. <laughs> yeah. We're so bad. You're so bad. Bad movie. Zing. I just zinged Ratatouing. <laughs> we're getting hyper zinged back though, because we're watching Ratatouing. I paid money for this, Jim. <laughs> this movie's a 40 minute zing. <laughs> He sounds like Morty. I was about to say that. He does sound like Morty. Come on, Ratatouing. <laughs> We're gonna Ratatouing. I'm Ratatouing Rick. <laughs> I wanna see someone cosplay as Ratatouing. People already do. All the time. True. My first owner is, uh, Marcel Toying. What? My first owner is Marcel Toying. Mine is Carol. Is that her? Yeah. Oh, right. So you change your gender with your persona. Yeah. I'm, I'm a trans non binomial rat. Do you know, is it supposed to be a joke? Ooh. Is it supposed to be a joke that he's wearing the Mickey Mouse ears, even though he is a mouse? Like, they already have ears like that. Like, look at the front cover. They already have Mickey Mouse ears. Is he not just wearing something over his ears? Oh, is that what that's supposed to be? I don't know. It just looks but like he's looks wearing like Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mickey Mickey. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> is there something wrong with the I disc? <laughs> I don't know if, if it's picking this up. <laughs> I don't know if, if in the recording it will, it will show this, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's, got, that's gotta be like in the movie. The that's way that gonna, looks. Look. Like, what? He's like phasing around. <laughs> Is this intentional? What is going It was already weird, but this is like... I feel like I'm watching the ring video now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now what do I do? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. The third time. God, that is efficient, isn't it? For the budget. Sorry, not the budget, the running time, because this has no budget. See, it does look like he's wearing Mickey Mouse ears. It does. I think it's supposed to be a hat. Because both of them are wearing things on their head that just cover the, their ears. But his one doesn't. He looks like the splinter cell guy. He's <laughs> still doing it. That's the best joke in the movie. Though. That's the end. Thank you, Michelle Gabrielle. <laughs> and we go and research like who they actually are and they don't exist. They've like. been dead for like 40 years. <laughs> well, it was a good start, wasn't it? What do you think of that one? Um, I thought Otto Evan did a fucking <laughs> awesome job with the music. <laughs> Precisely! <laughs> what would you give it out of 10? Um... Don't do it. Don't do what? Say so like 7. <laughs> I was thinking like a low 7. <laughs> Precisely! <laughs> That was just dreadful. That was unbelievably that bad. That was worse than I was expecting. <laughs> worse. <laughs> looking at the, looking it is at worse the box. worse looking at the, at the box. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you like the fact the, that the whole film took place in two different like, locations? <laughs> yeah, but there was like no beginning, middle or end. <laughs> it was just like middle all the way through. <laughs> it wasn't anything. It was just nothing. No attempt at anything. It was completely pointless. Michelle Gabrielle is going down this time. <laughs>
So, <laughs> but before I press press play, I've just discovered that Little B is made by the same company as Ratatouille, and I'm pretty sure more of them. <laughs> They're probably all gonna turn out to be the but same from people. the same company. <laughs> we are boned. Ah. <laughs> I hope that hour and a forty-minute one isn't, isn't this, these guys. Oh my god! Little B. So what's this uh, a rip off of, Jim? Oh, this. My dear boy. It's called Beanard. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously a uh, B movie, B movie. B Jerry Seinfeld, and, oh, and oh. the entire cast of Seinfeld. <laughs> she looks like an alien. She looks like. Stop playing um, a a brat that Mars let's needs. Get you to school, okay? Yeah, it does look like one of the aliens from Mars, Mars Needs Mums. Mums. Mums, sorry. Did you just hear the name of that character, though? No, what was it? B-U-T. Yeah, it's written there, on the back. B-U-T. <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't think you could make the awkward B puns any worse than in B-Movie, but they have managed it. Wait, hang on a minute. It says on the back, there just might be a sting in the tail. Doesn't that other movie about bees have that exact same like line on the box? What other bee movie? You know, there's there's little bee and there's. Wait, let me see. <laughs> it's not on the front. It's on the back. The last. The other line. one was on the front. Yeah, but it's the same one, isn't it? It's the same line. But it was T A L E last time. And this one is T A I L. It's not even clever. It's a f awful pun. When did this movie come out? Well, they've really upped their animation game, so I'd hope it's after 2007. <laughs> the character models are a bit better than the rats. A bit, but I don't know, because... Well, like, the way that he's wearing, like, a jumper, that's way more yeah. detailed than just their rats. faces make me want to fucking... Yeah, they look vile. I don't understand. So does he not want to be a soldier? Who gives a fucking shit? Who cares? Do you know what I hate the most about these? What? Is that you can you can like see the humor from like actual Disney movies and Pixar movies and DreamWorks movies like the same type of shit but just done through through the just clip through it. Sorry, continue. Like with her saying, "No more friends, even the annoying ones." Mm -hmm. like you, you could totally see that in like a DreamWorks movie. Yeah. But the babies won't laugh to it because it's. Yeah, like who are they? Who do they think they're servicing? Yeah, exactly. Because it looks like this. Look at it. I bet they thought they were so clever. Beanard. What would an, what would be a better name to shove B into? Um, because like Beanard doesn't really work. Does it doesn't it? work. But, I mean, <laughs> it's, really it's actually quite a difficult. I'm gonna search names oh. beginning with B. Beely is a good one. <laughs> yeah, Beely. Do you hear the static <laughs> in the background? I do. I think I hate this one the most. This is my least favorite. We've only seen two of nine. <laughs> yeah, I hate this one the most. <laughs> so yeah, this is why I'm glad I put this one, like, near the beginning. <laughs> There's something about the, his arrogant pose on the front cover that really gets yeah. under my skin. It's like, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. You see me on the front cover, pick up the DVD. <laughs> Buy me. I'm still looking at names beginning with B. What was the, the B in, um, B movie called? Barry Benson. Was he just called Barry? I think he was called Barry. Yeah, maybe you're right. if we together, Barry B. We What's wrong with just calling him? They could have just called him B. Like, no, because bees. they're all Bs. All of them have a B, like, start to their name. Like, they're Bs, Alex. Just like the way humans all have, like, Hugh at the start of their name. <laughs> Why are they wearing, like, Nazi helmets? <laughs> Can you imagine actually putting the... The energy and effort into 
making something like this. Because like you have to, something has to be written down for this. It's not improvised. Like someone spent their time writing a yeah. script for little bit. I feel sorry the most for the animators. <laughs> what if it's the same person? Because I know the cars life, but like thing was made by one guy. But <laughs> be art. <laughs> It just doesn't work, like, with the English language. None of these work. What about Bjork? Bjork kind of works. <laughs> I, I hate the film B-Movie, but I would watch B-Movie over this. I would watch B-Movie a thousand times over this. <laughs> At least B-Movie has uh, the wheelchair guy from Family Guy. <laughs> with some awful dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's amazing in that film. <laughs> he tries to... <laughs> he gets annoyed that he's cucked by a bee. <laughs> he is cucked by a bee. <laughs> he loses his girlfriend to a bee. Wouldn't you be pretty fucking pissed if you lost your girlfriend to a bee? <laughs> Voiced by Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> Did you... <laughs> Do you hear, like, the the buzzing sound effect yeah. that you've slightly put in? <laughs> and it fades out every, like, half second. <laughs> Beowulf, that'd be a good name for him. Beowulf. Beowulf. <laughs> Beaverly? That nearly works. Beaverly? Yeah, instead of Beverly. Beaverly. That, that kind of sounds more like a beaver pun, though. <laughs> Little beaver. <laughs> yeah. Right, when we get the budget to direct one of these movies. <laughs> We've already got the budget. How much is in your wallet at the moment? <laughs> like, 20p. <laughs> Some of these are just complete bullshit. Like, look at that. Bod mod. <laughs> <laughs> Bod mod. Wait, they've broken the song. Yeah, I've just realised this. I feel like I'm watching Big Mouth all of a sudden. <laughs> Life is awful. Life is like a bee. My <laughs> name is Bod mod. <laughs> if I ever have a son, he's gonna be called Bod mod. <laughs> you, na you name your child Bod mod when you resent them in every way possible, <laughs> and you want them to have a miserable life. What like, if they turned what, out to what be? What kind like, of chances are you giving your child when you're naming them? I Bod reckon mod. If, you, if you're called Bod Mod, you're gonna make it in some regard. You've got to prove yourself. You've got way more to prove than everyone else because your name is Bod Mod. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a Rubik's Cube in the background? Who gives a shit? Every shot reinvents a new definition of awful. Like, I, I've, I've never. I couldn't dream up something this awful, even if I tried. Do you think this is what was in the suitcase in um, Pulp, Pulp Fiction? Fiction? It was a copy of, of Little B. <laughs> That's why it was glowing orange. It was like this plane. It's the honey from, from the scene. <laughs> but my, my question is, why do they fill it with so much filler when it doesn't matter, you know? Like it's 50 minutes long. I guess you it's got to be 45 minutes at least, right? Why? Why isn't it just like 10 minutes long? Because you can you can probably sell movies for more money than like a short. But if you saw like this cover and you purchase it, then you're you're a bad person. I would agree with that. You're the kind of person who deserves to be punished. Maybe not directly, but indirectly punished. Like being stung by a bee, for example. Like being stung by an army of Nazi bees. <laughs> nice little Star Wars screen wipe. Did George Lucas direct this? <laughs> Don't be surprised if he wrote this. <laughs> That's the way this <laughs> Written and directed by George Lucas. <laughs> What the f this what the fuck? fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. That was too weird. What the fuck? 
That was one of those moments that you When can't worlds script. collide. Quick, play the When Worlds Collide but from Spongebob. When worlds collide, we can be your guy. <laughs> Bod mod strikes again. <laughs> what an awful name. I refuse to believe that anyone in the world is called Bodmod. There's definitely at least one Bodmod. <laughs> so Google like Bodmod and see if Famous I... Famous Bodmods. <laughs> Problem is when you search Bodmod, all these body modification yeah, pages I, come out. I thought that would be the case. So there's this famous person called right Bodmonzaid. That's close enough. Because their real name is... Did you get rid of the hive? Labor Zaid. That's what I'm telling you. I, I was reading it as Labia Zaid. <laughs> so they might not be called like Bodmod, but they're called Labia, so that would do. You've got to be the first person to Whatever. call their son Bodmod. <laughs> I can't. can't believe that's a suggested name on that website. I can't think about anything worse than, than Bodmod. What about like Boggle Moggle? <laughs> it's not as bad as Bodmod. There's something about the first half of your name rhyming with the second half of your name that just can't be beaten in terms of terribleness. I'm ignoring this this dreadful film just to try and think of a, a name worse than Bodmod. Do you think, like, just calling your child Slit is... <laughs> is too much? Do you think that's... Slit? Like, um... Yeah, that would be worse. <laughs> slit? <laughs> slit is way worse, actually. Uh, like... You'd be bullied way harder for being called Slit <laughs> than... <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what the I, best, I like, always think about like <laughs> the the register at school. <laughs> yeah, bod mod. <laughs> yes, <laughs> slit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what, what, what would the best like second name be for bod mod and slit? <laughs> Have a slit bod mod. <laughs> I didn't know this one was gonna be a musical. It's improved its ranking. <laughs> Look, <laughs> it doesn't even like flow properly, the repeating animation. It gets like stuck in the middle. <laughs> what if at the end it says directed by Slip Bodmod? <laughs> <laughs> I really want to see a YouTube user with the name Slip Bodmod. <laughs> what if his name was like Slip Fidget Spinner Dab Bodmod? <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look like they're inside an artery or something right now? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> They've been shrunk down. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the little bee. <laughs> this is actually putting me to sleep. I can't stay awake. I know. The, it's weird, these fucking movies. The, 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 the little panda fighter had the same effect on me. Really? It just fucking sucks everything out of you. <laughs> That's what you have left. You just want to give up to it. They, maybe that's their like true intention. They're like devil creation. Yeah, they like they suck the life out of you. Yeah, you're right. Just to make more bee-themed movies. <laughs> like I, I don't feel like this film deserves attention. No, I don't either. <laughs> you know, like they they have to present something that has had thought enough put into it to deserve our brains engaging in it. You know? <laughs> what the fuck is up with that guy's face? Like, what is the point? There's no point to any of these movies, Alex. Stop, <laughs> stop looking for a point. What is wrong with that guy's face? <laughs> he looks like Max Payne from the original Max Payne. <laughs> this is so boring. <laughs> is, it, is it cartoon lore that your characters have to have four fingers? Simpsons did it, so everyone else has to do it. Or did you just say something do they have four fingers in Rick and Morty? I think they have the normal amount of fingers in Rick and Morty. I think they do as well. I'm gonna look. What are you gonna search? Rick and Morty hand? <laughs> I'm just gonna search Rick and Morty. Chances are a character's gonna have hands in a picture. Wait, listen, the music's back. I don't even know what to say about this, Alex. <laughs> Why is it still going? I hope that you are I'm gonna get my name officially changed to Slit. The legs go all the way up, Griffin. Why? Why does that exist? 
Legs go all the way up, Griffin. <laughs> poor Family Guy. I mean, poor Family Guy. They get a million dollars an episode. He just wanted to be the Simpsons. They get a million dollars an episode, and all of it just goes to the voice talent. They don't even have a scene where he goes, Lois, I've been turned into a pickle, Lois. <laughs> pickle Peter. <laughs> I need your assistance, Lois. I've been turned into a pickle. <laughs> Like, all you could do is show one frame, and it's just like, it's exactly what you're going to get out of it, is what you see from that one frame. I just want to have an interview with the person responsible. I just want to ask them one question, and it's one word. Why? And then he just gets out his wallet, and there's like, there's <laughs> so much money in his wallet. <laughs> Time and he goes, oh, huh? look at my word. It's just not He's not French. He's done. Brazilian. See, I'm, it's like this. I'm so rich. I actually have my, I've had my Everybody name changed. <laughs> and it wasn't even hassle yeah. for me because I'm so rich. Oh, what's your name now? Slit. <laughs> <laughs> Slit Bod Mod. <laughs> and what's your last name? Well, Bod Mod. <laughs> that is a cool name. Where did you get that from? Your commentary. He's rubbing it in our faces. The director changed his name to that just to annoy us. Mod. <laughs> I'd love to see an animated movie where they look just like actual bees. Yeah. Like, That's the Hello, bee. Hello, bee nut. Your mandibles are looking lush. <laughs> <laughs> I'd quite like for the disc to shoot out and cut my head off. <laughs> Imagine it, the Daily Mail reports. <laughs> Nerd killed by little B on DVD. Nerd dork killed by little B. <laughs> B-Nerd strikes again. <laughs> so would you rather watch that or B-Movie? B-Movie. I already said I'd prefer to watch B-Movie a thousand times. <laughs> No, you wouldn't. I would. B movie sucks. B -movie. So does this film. I actually kind of like B movie. I like <laughs> the part where they're playing tennis and he's stuck to the tennis ball. Oh, I want a that. tennis ball! And then, then do the voice for Wheelchair from Family Guy. Yeah! I can't do it. Nobody can do it apart from him. <laughs> it's fucked. Because it's just his voice. His voice is fucked. Anyway, um, this movie. Did you like it more than that no. rat one? No, the rat one was like five minutes shorter. So <laughs> that is all it comes down to. That is that but is even it. even then, it had that funny bit where it all glitched out. <laughs> yeah, that, that was pretty funny. And it and it had memes like um precisely. <laughs> that was a good, well written thing. Precisely. <laughs> this one had a. Uh, Slit in it though, so. <laughs> the slit and bod mod. But I mean. <laughs> well, it was so 2007 boring. Again. It was the same year. It was so boring that we had to come up with our own entertainment. <laughs> it was so yeah. boring and vapid, we had to invent our own entertainment. We had to quickly watch um, <laughs> Arthur and the Invisibles while, <laughs> while it went on. Just stop it, I can't. I can't say anything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if that's life, a sign of things to come. <laughs> it's two of nine. <laughs> Surely they can't get worse. This was the one you said you thought was going to be the worst one. Looking at the cover. <laughs>Right, right, Jim, we're watching Little and Big Monsters now. What's this a parody of? The, uh, the famous health bar video. The... Monsters vs. Ghouls. Monsters vs. Aliens by DreamWorks. Featuring Seth Rogen. <laughs> yeah. 
Is this Seth Rogen's character? Yes. <laughs> So Look, there's a Rubik's Cube again. That was in, in Yeah, but Jim, because I was about to say, the thing you quickly learn about these guys Express is that they love using the same voice breakfast actors, the same nuts, character models, over and over. So you thought this was going to be the worst one, just from looking at the front cover, because that is a dreadful front cover. Yeah, it looks like in ICT, for graphics, we all had to make our own like movie covers. <laughs> that, that, that cover is worse than the one I made, and I, and I gave zero shit about the cover I made. <laughs> Is that the same voice actress from Little B? Yes, Jim. They all are. They're all the same. Why do they submit to being in such... Because a paycheck's a paycheck, Jim. Yeah, but I mean... Prostitution pays, but... People don't tend to want to do that. Jim, would you not be a voice actor in this, then? For a healthy paycheck? It depends on how healthy the paycheck is. A hundred quid. Very, very How long would it take me, though? Sure they won't ever be back it depends. Besides, things have changed. They probably won't want you to retake any lines because they don't care at all. But, I mean, you said before some of these voice actors are, like, big deals. Well, I, d I don't know if big deal is the right word as much as known, you know, or right. on actual shows. <laughs> I just told you that I don't want Every scene is so boring in you these films. Like, they're, they're completely pointless you to the overall that. story. I'm telling you, they're completely unreliable. Well, they're not pointless. What you they do is they the take the three today. words of plot and they extend it into 15 happen. minutes of dialogue. Yeah. No do you want to know the story of this film, Jim? Based on the back and of the box. Yeah, yeah, read the description. The Two wacky and goofy scientists whose experiments always seem to go wrong manage to do one thing right. Right. They are incredible the monster hunters. Galaxies. When one of their experiments moments, goes wrong, we'll it forces them to put their monster hunting skills to the test. The they team up with two witty face. kids to Dungeon save the world from some really quirky little and big questions. monsters. With a sweet yes. tooth, one what a fun mess. Time to activate the antenna. They had to look you, up you words like, uh, so yeah, a thesaurus for wacky <laughs> and quirky. The people that watch Dr. your film are supposed Dr. to call it quirky, Zeus. not like yeah, not you yourself. You well, like work, work is no, done on these films, You're too immature to handle a machine or like videos, this. I should call them these YouTube videos. <laughs> but like the work is of varying levels of quality, is all. I respect the the guy that does the f four monkeys jumping on the bed more than, <laughs> more than the, the guys that made these movies. Toys in Japan. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Toys in Japan! <laughs> I probably enjoy those videos more than I, this. I, I, could in, I could watch 40 minutes... 40 minutes worth of those videos. Yeah, then you're right. For sure. Even though they're the same thing. Wait, I'm confused. The sheep, his... Mum? His mum, yeah. You already brushed your teeth, little brother. Wait, what? Little brother? See, I, th I, I, th I thought she seemed to like sister-like. You know, three people wrote the screenplay for this film. Three people. Yeah. So there's a genre of film called the Mockbuster. That's what the, these are, supposedly. Isn't that what, like, sh Sharknado is as well? Yeah. Because you have like mockumentaries, yeah, as well. Well, they're they're not inherently fucking awful. Well, a mockbuster is inherently awful, but they are mostly awful. What's a good one though? Well, it depends. Does something like Spaceballs count as mockbuster? It's making fun of Star Wars. I guess. Like Hot Fuzz as well. Alex, can you explain this scene to me? No. It's weird because this story is actually, like, a lot of animated films go for this. Yeah. They, like, hide something and then it's revealed later. That's what I was trying to say when we were watching Little B. They use these tropes, but, like, they fall so flat on their own faces. Well, because, I mean, just look at it. I well, yeah, exactly. So I, I don't, even, look at that I, I don't know why they What's even bother. supposed to be? Just lines. Why do they even bother trying to write some sort of 
Why do they pay someone to write it? They could just jokes or whatever. They could just have like scenes that have no link. You know, they could just have motion. Yeah. Amanda. It's also confusing to me. Like, why? Oh no. Effort has gone in. But those guns are fake. But someone has put pen to paper. Hey, look! It's one of the bee helmets. Did you see that Nazi bee? I did see that. It's just so you can reuse models. No, it's a reference. I'm sure the plan you're putting you know the way Pixar movies always have a thing from their other movie <laughs> in the background somewhere? But yeah, do, do you think someone really believed in this project? Maybe, maybe early on, they might have like delusions of grandeur and think, you know, this will be the one. We're actually going to make something out of this one. You know, I'd really like one of these films, like if 20 minutes in, like a green screen guy, like a real person, like walks into the middle of the screen and it's just like, what are you doing? Why are you still watching this? Like, thanks for the money and everything, but you don't have to watch the rest of this. <laughs> like, it's just garbage. <laughs> How can her fringe go so far off her head? I know. <laughs> It's like the way that the teeth just float in their mouth. Yeah. It's so creepy. It is creepy. Now he's a little monster. He was a big monster, and now he's a little monster. God, that took a turn for the worse pretty quick. <laughs> yes. Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> for the little and big monsters. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do this for £100, by the way. You wouldn't be a voice actor in Little and Big Monsters. No. It's like the frame rate drop because the, the <laughs> stuff on screen. <laughs> it's just insane. Like, how about you just don't have so many peanuts? Yeah, just have like a few less peanuts. We save the world. It's just un unbelievable. I can't. I can't. I can. Who at DreamWorks even came up with that idea? Monsters versus aliens. Seth Rogen smoked a fat doobie. <laughs> he just said he it. He thought it was a great idea. What do you think of Monsters vs. Aliens? Um, before watching this, I thought it was pretty fucking shit. <laughs> but I've got kind of an appreciation for it. <laughs> we saw it at the cinema when it came out. For some reason. Yeah, we did. I can't believe how long this has gone on for. Yeah. This could have been done in 15 seconds. <laughs> Every scene in this movie. The whole movie could have been done in 15 seconds. Do you think these films are like... Are like... If you gave... A, a PE teacher... You went up to a PE teacher and was like... Make a kids movie in a week. <laughs> and they had like a team of people. But they had to like... Make every decision. Do you think it would be something like this? Yeah. That's probably the backstory to this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, here we go. Wallace and Gromit have arrived. Why is this movie called Little and Big Monsters when the little monsters are big monsters? Because sometimes they're little and sometimes they're big depending if they eat salt or sugar. Guto, are you okay with those? I see. Apparently one of these aliens is voiced by Kanye West. <laughs> This is Kanye West's vision. <laughs> he came up with the idea for this. This film. is what he sees just at all times. <laughs> hey, it's um, it's Uncharted. What? He's Nathan Drake. That, that's Sully. And then the woman is Elena. <laughs> See, look. Yeah, now they're Ghostbusters. Her camel toe is pretty extreme. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> that didn't seem as long as, as like, no. I was expecting it to. I, I'd say it was. That's probably the best one, I reckon. I'd say so it's far. better than Ratatouille, but Ratatouille had that glitch part. Ratatouille was funnier, yeah. Way funnier. 
This film is just nothing. Absolute nothing. I've already forgotten it. <laughs> I like the bit where Thanos showed up and destroyed the universe. And then got defeated by Captain America. This is the next one I'm really scared of. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's just weird how, like, as soon as you finish one of these movies, it's just like... That time just <laughs> that never happened in your life. Like, you just lost some of your life. <laughs> Jim. Yeah, boy. What's this a parody of? Um. Our favorite film. Mac Macagascar. <laughs> Madagascar. The trilogy, the epic trilogy, one of the best trilogies of all time, as we all know. So, this is the one that we've both been dreading to no end. It's almost two hours long. <laughs> it's, an, it's an hour and 40 minutes long. Honestly, I was expecting it to look better than this. Because <laughs> if you put like this much time into making it that long... like it, sa it says on the back that it's um 70 minutes. And it's actually longer. It's 30 minutes longer. <laughs> what if this is actually brilliant? <laughs> it might be. Uh, it can't be as bad as like some of the others, though. Yeah, it can. It can be almost as bad, but then it fucking overstays its welcome. <laughs> Just never ends. <laughs> Chris Ayers, didn't he direct Suicide Squad? <laughs> Here we go. So, God, he looks creepy. He looks like ripped. <laughs> Why is he ripped? Wait, what? So he doesn't speak English then? Is this going to be like a silent movie? <laughs> Are you seeing the way this dude is driving? I quite like this one, I'm not going to lie, so far. So far, it hasn't been too bad. This, this one is, somehow is is riding the so bad that it's funny line. <laughs> Whereas the other ones... The other ones felt more malicious. They're more cynical, somehow. I don't know what it is, though. But this is a reused shot as well. Oh, God. <laughs> See, the kid keeps, like, talking. Is this just gonna be the whole movie, <laughs> just in this car? Because I'm fucking down for that. Would you bring your Jack Russell on a holiday to Africa? Is that a Jack Russell? I think so. How did we get here? What the... Yeah, how did we get here? It's a bit of a jump, isn't it? I... I was not expecting this. I wasn't expecting it either. I was just... Because we, we, we've been conditioned by the first three. Because they were all hey, video Brinquedo products. But this is a whole this is like a ballpark. Yeah. This is fresh. Oh, what the fuck is that? That was a skeleton. Oh, okay. I'm just giving him a nice little bit of fish. You missed one. So he can talk. Yeah, man. GTA. Well, imagine if this was <laughs> the like, first cutscene of GTA. <laughs> oh, he's barking because he can hear the jingling. <laughs> is that really why he thinks Billy is here? Stop it, movie. Stop it. What is going on? <laughs> it's Billy. Pip, Pip, come here, boy. Is he called Poop? <laughs> That's what I thought as well. Do you like how every time they say a word with a P, a P in it, it goes P, 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 like in the mic? Is this like a dream sequence or not? <laughs> He's just here now. Dude, he slapped him on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like how, like, his coke stain is meant to be like a shine? <laughs> no matter where he looks, it's, it's like in the, the same, same place. Spot. So it is just coke. Th this is actually, like, unreal. Like, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I think this might be the worst thing I've actually ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, it's me. Yeah, um, so I I'm making this film. Do you want to be a voice in my film? Mom, Dad, What's it about? Poop. poop? <laughs> <laughs> if someone showed you this and asked to be like a voice in it, I'd be surprised if you said no. Think Lion King cross with Madagascar. <laughs> and poop. <laughs> but with more of a heart. And a bit more realistic. 
So the story's like white boy in the black neighborhood. And you better toughen up quick and watch your back, little dog. Sounds like donkey. Get rid of You'll put us all in danger. His donkey. His pink t-shirt is is really confusing to me because I keep thinking it's like muscle arms. Yeah, I kept thinking that at the start. Dollars. All that mumble jumble is worthless out here in the wild. <laughs> Besides, it's way too risky to leave our headquarters and chill out of the I want oh, more donkey. No. Someone like needs to pay well, for this. Even though you fail. What do you mean? Like, this can't exist and not yeah. have ruined yeah. someone's, like, <laughs> entire reputation and career. Everyone that's involved. <laughs> Our lives are going to be ruined because of this movie. <laughs> so it's only fair. <laughs> Look at that guy's proportions. <laughs> Pip. <laughs> Pip. 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 That isn't that a character that's I recognize that character from something. I've seen that before. That really looks like food fighting. Yeah, it does. I knew I'd seen it before. I knew I'd seen that character before. Because they made the prodigy. That's it. The prodigy is a Kung Fu Panda ripoff that I'd forgotten about. I don't know how many more Kung Fu Panda ripoffs I, I could witness though, <laughs> especially if it's anything like this. <laughs> One of the reviews on IMDb, the like headline is, everyone involved in making this should be euthanized. <laughs> this is a great review. Let me preface this review by saying that my four-year-old daughter really enjoyed this movie. I'm not proud of that. But if you have young children, they may want to watch this and I feel it's only fair to warn you. Released on 15th of May 2012 to capitalize on Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. God, so it wasn't even the first Madagascar movie, it was the third one. That is fucking embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's longer than Madagascar 3 as well, it's longer than it. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I thought maybe that's the reason. Like, he just wanted it to be the exact same Psst. length. Kali, that is not your dada. Come here. Yeah, that's not your dada. <laughs> Lee. Watch your back if I were you. Always be alert if you don't want to become a tasty meal for someone. Well, thanks for the words of encouragement. Don't pay him no money. He's. I really, I really hope that bird is in it a lot more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something weirdly epic about this. It is. It's. It's kind of cool. It's Don't woken me up. <laughs> Can you imagine getting to work on this for like, <laughs> like it doesn't it, it doesn't take a short amount of time to put together an hour and forty minute long piece of media. You're a little young. Do you know it what I mean? Like, later, no, it doesn't. It takes a lot of time. So, like, a lot of time has gone into this. Yeah, definitely. What's wrong with you? Which just don't you think it's just really weird? Like it, yeah. It is really weird because, like, it was just a cash in on Madagascar 3. But they went <laughs> and made it an hour and 40 minutes. When these other ones get away with doing, like, 40 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> this one goes above and beyond. It's trying to be the next m masterpiece. But yeah, it, sure. why did he just look at the camera? But, but it's no better than than any of them, though. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, I mean, it kind of is. <laughs> is it, though? Yes, yeah, it's, it's way better, actually. <laughs> it's got Lou. <laughs> Who's Lou? Lou's the bird. Why is this character doing this all of a sudden? He's going to do a poo. The, the story of this bit is literally to do a poo. It kind of reminds me of The Shining. Why? Like, I'm getting the same feeling I got when I watched The Shining. You're creeped out and worried. 
Yeah. I'm anxious. What is it with these movies? <laughs> Just showing things for so long. They <laughs> show them for about 75% you know, too long. <laughs> we still got like an hour left. What <laughs> the fuck just happened? What are those? Where did those come from? The what kidney are they? stones? <laughs> Vomiting out kidney stains. <laughs> Please show us that again. That's what we need to see. Give it your best shot, okay? <laughs> Is that the worst like voice acting you've ever heard? <laughs> Lou combined with that thing, wise guy. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> She's actually like thirteen, but still talks like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think she looks like that app where you can like yeah get it to say things? I cannot believe how long this movie is. Like I'm just I'm just blown away by how long it is. There's so much left. There's so much content in this film. <laughs> Please just tell me the credits are really long or something. There's a lot to unpack here, Jim. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> That's only the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Fuck, my ribs actually hurt. <laughs> Spread out. <laughs> Did you see the way that one was running? That one. <laughs> It's still going. <laughs> Why do some things have sound, but yeah. other things just don't produce any sound? <laughs> when they bother to put in a sound effect, it's like <laughs> so unfitting. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look like that? <laughs> this is terrifying. Why do they keep saying up in here all the time? Have you noticed that? It's because he was writing it knowing it's for a black person. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Here we go. Now is when things heat up. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> but we're about to reach the climax. At least the action's really good. Chuma, stop. Let's end this now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the best bit. <laughs> the rhino running bit was the best bit. <laughs> rhino running. That was the best bit. What is left for there to this for this film to like do? <laughs> it's resolved every conflict in the whole world. It's kind of weird that um, like he never got back with his owners. <laughs> he will in the last ten minutes. No. <laughs> <I'm> serious. <laughs> well, that's a, one hour and forty minutes. I'll never get back. <laughs> <laughs> an hour and forty minutes of regret. What do you think of that, Jim? Whoa! Oh, that was probably gonna be the best one. Like I'm serious. <laughs> I actually don't think it's gonna get better than this than that rhino scene. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. What an atrocious film. <laughs> Fuck you, Chris Ayers. <laughs>
<laughs> character designer. <laughs> Seth MacFarlane? What? Look how many animators worked on this. Oh my god. Look how many. Brett Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they were just made up names? <laughs> This is what I mean about, like, a lot of time went into making this hour and 40 minute long film. I hope they fucking just lost money. <laughs> they were 100% did, Jim. On the streets. Quite a good one in the end. I, uh, honestly, <laughs> I am surprised by how much enjoyment was taken from this movie. It wasn't as bad as I was actually expecting. Yeah. But not, not because it's actually better than what I was expecting. It's because it was worse than what I was expecting. Yeah. Making it better. It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Let's be real. That is awful. Oh, that was just terrible. Interestingly terrible, though. Jim, what's plan B a... Uh parody of, well not um, parody, you know, rip-off of. I think it's a rip-off of precisely. Awesome flowers. Well, hey, it didn't like take long Jay, to get right? into this. Daisy's I assume it's another B-movie one. Yes, it's just B-movie again. Oh, Made by the same company, started. with the same voices <laughs> and the same everything. Okay, so far, does it look better or worse than Little B? Better? Oh my god. It looks better because the character design isn't as... I mean, it's still bad. It's really bad. It's really bad, but it's nothing as bad as those no, other ones. Not. At least these look like bees. They yeah. look fucking terrifying, actually. <laughs> More depth than anything in this film is gonna get. Ugh, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I think this isn't actually video bring Quaido. This is the p the people who did a car's life, but a car's life was very bad. Was it like this? It was like this, but with cars. That's too scary for like. A yeah, it's movie. really freaky. It's really horrible. The eyes, the mouth, the legs. The legs on all of them. Look how creepy those legs are. They just look like actual bee legs. Yeah, it's too much. So, so listen to the films this director has directed, and guess what film they're completely ripping off? A Car's Life, Sparky's Big Adventure. That's cars and a bug's life. <laughs> Plan B. Out here, maybe. Whoa. But back we already know that one. Piper penguins and his fantastic flying bit. machine. Bonnie, I was Due to the penguin bit, I'd assume ha uh, happy feet. <laughs> it looks like it, yeah. Sure. And then well, Cars Life 2. The adventures right. of Scooter the penguin. <laughs> and Cars Life 3. Did you say Scooter the penguin? Yeah. The crossovers are crazy in this guy's cinematic universe. Did he hear one of the bees having a, a rant like Obi-Wan about democracy? No. It's just democracy! <laughs> Why do they always do this where they make it look like they're in front of a green screen? I know. It's because they can't be bothered to render a background, like yeah. actually make a background. It's fun hanging out. Even if we are kind of different. Never write the word spunk yeah. into a kid's movie. We yeah, especially in that context as well. The yeah. female saying to the Boy. male protagonist, Bing, I like your spunk. I like your bee spunk, little spunky. Can you imagine, I can't think of anything more embarrassing than like a small team of people rushing their little busy bee worker bodies off to try and get Plan B out before the real bee movie comes out. It Can you think of anything you. more pathetic? How about being a worker bee? That's not pathetic. They're, they're communists. They're working towards their, their goal. Everyone's the same, so everyone is nothing. When everyone's a superhero, no one is. When everyone's a bee, everyoneone's a bee. Yeah. I hate looking at insects. Yeah. I'm trying to be entertained. They look... If I want to be scared, then yeah. Show me big scary insects with human mouths. You know? I think it's why every time there's like an animated kids film about bugs, they change the design of the bugs so... so mm -hmm. massively that they're nearly impossible to even recognize. Like, in a bug's life, they're just... that they've only got... Do they have four arms in bug's life? They do have four arms, don't they? Four arms? Like four arms. Oh yeah, I think so. But in ants, they only have two? Or have I got it the wrong way around? 
doing my research now. How many? It must no. It must be two hands. I can almost see the paddle. Like two arms, because. The, the okay, monkeys. I had it the wrong way round. Bugs Life has two arms. Ants had four arms. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. And that's yeah, why everyone thought Ants was really freaky. <laughs> yeah, Ants is really freaky. That's not the only reason it's really freaky, though. Yeah, I was just thinking about Kevin Spacey in it, and he's only got two arms. No, he has four arms. Joey, Zips, wake up! Are you sure? Yeah, it was a big part of their character design that they had four arms. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Bugs Life, so you uh, John Lassenter. John Lasseter has had some drama. Oh, is that the well. director? Not the director of Bugs Life. Um, he's one of the like founders of Pixar. He directed um, Toy Story, right? I don't know if he directed Toy Story. I swear, he, well, he made it. But yeah, I read that he was. Yeah, sorry, he did direct him. Um, yeah, I thought so. Toy Story. Like, he has a hand in basically every one of them. Yeah. He directed. And he had a hand in a lot of other places too. Oof. Grab some so he directed it's Toy Story, Bugs Life, Toy Story 2, yeah. Cars, okay. Cars 2. So he directed I'm like the serious. best and worst Pixar film. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He directed Cars 2? Yeah, I'm amazed. Like the, sh the, the worst direct one. to DV. His whole thing, D. his weird obsession was with cars. I don't know why. Yeah. Just loves cars. It's like the most generic animated thing you could possibly do. Yeah. Cars with eyes. Cars that talk. It's like normally Pixar are, are quite good at character design, but the Cars ones are like, Here. well, they did their best, but well, yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do with a car. To yeah, exactly. They're just not very interesting because it's just a car with eyes. <laughs> it's not how much you can do with it. Like they try their best in the Hello, first Cars like to make that premise Hello. interesting, but yeah. what is man, this place? do you remember like years ago? I'm talking like decades ago at this point. We went to our uncle's house, who had, had part of his, like, course Whoa, at uni. Had done some, like, I don't know if Drew it was at uni or whatever. Some, um, some work thing. He did, like, an animation yeah. thing. Where a woman sat on her dog. Yeah, but it looked like this. Yeah, it was, like, amateur sure, CG back. stuff. And if not, I'll teach you to turn. Like... He didn't try and sell it as a product, he just had it on his little CD, and he just showed people that he knew. Yeah, like, look, lol, I... It was a postcard or something. Yeah. That he animated. Yeah, as part of, like, it's a like, project check for some... Check this out, XD. This is my little funny project that... It, it was part of some, like... I don't know what it, what the context was. Well, he he did, like, like IT, pistol, didn't he? That? Yeah, so I assumed well, that was just, like, a section. At the time, CG, like, stuff was quite new. Very new. It wasn't when this film came out in 2000 and whenever. 2008. Or well, seven even. Thanks. But now in 2017, the novelty of this this is just worn off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, especially when. In 2007, you have video games that you can play that look better than this. Yeah. That has been. Yeah. Carefully Way animated. What was that the same year as Bioshock, oh, Halo 3? Sorry. Halo 3, yeah. Has like, <laughs> COD 4? Yeah, I think so. There's only so much you can criticize, like a cash grab. I know. Like on this level. Because it's not like they value it at all. Yeah, exactly. That's why I would find it really difficult to talk about, like, like an epic movie. Or, a, you know, yeah, those, those whole string of movies that aren't movies, they're just like references. Well, we were talking about those kind of shit comedies last or yesterday when um yeah when we started watching what's that movie called Get Hard Get Hard, which is just awful. Like, do they even give a shit? Well, that's the that's the thing when you can't when you even have to ask a question, something is wrong. Yeah, you know, like some films are fun to pick apart, like like some of the Transformers films are fascinatingly bad. Well, the room being relevant at the moment is fascinating because, like, Tommy Wiseau... He's just a character, he's just a strange person. But he genuinely thought what he was making was, like, art. Yeah, he thought it was really great. But I, I don't even mean films on that level. Like, that that's quite an, an extreme spectrum. Yeah. From room to Transformers, like... Because with, like, Transformers, Michael Bay, like, he 
didn't care. Or he did care a little bit with the first one. Yeah, he he definitely cared with the first one. I think. He cared with the first one a bit, but it's just his talents just aren't suited for it. No. Like it was just confused tonally and the story was all over the place. It's weird, like Michael Bay seems to desperately want to be dark. But his humor is, is so juvenile though. Yeah. So he he makes things really serious and epic and cool. With Lincoln Park. And then but then a dog comes out and humps a robot, and it's like. Duh, 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 duh. And you're supposed to be but Andy's a making a movie based, based on, on a, a TV sport, show yeah. that was advertisement for toys. Yeah. And ironically, I think that's kind of what has made this film so popular. The sort of edginess. The edgy, of them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, we we loved it when we were little. Yeah, but we were the, we were the target demographic yeah, exactly. at the time, and it was the first one. And when we saw that, those effects at the time were really impressive. They actually were. Like, yeah. I'd never seen anything like that before at that well, time. Those effects back then are better than the Transformers movies' effects. Yeah, because there was some restraint, you know? Yeah. They, they were like, okay, we can't have the whole world get transformed for now. We've got to sort of think of it in service of the story a little bit. But, like... I watched the last one, the latest one from, I guess, this year? I don't even know. But again, with the novelty wearing off thing, just like Plan B. Yeah, just like Plan B. It's, it was just tiring, because it's like, well, every film does this now. Every film is filled with CG explosions, you know? And huge armies and stuff like that. Big robots fighting each other. It's not, not, that's not impressive on its own anymore. And it was a novelty to begin with. Yeah, exactly. Like transforming, transforming cars and machines. Like you can't base a whole film off that unless you have like characters in a story and ideas. It's, that's one of the problems with B movie as well. Like that film was made off Jerry Seinfeld having a funny romp with Steven Spielberg like over lunch. Like just one jo one bit, one one like two line joke, you know, like two sentences of a joke, and he ma and he, they made a whole film on it, and that's why that film doesn't work. Like, what, it's not funny. What it's was just the original joke? So it better have been fucking great. Seinfeld was like, wouldn't it be funny if if bees sued humans for just taking honey from them? You know, in a Seinfeld way, he would have yeah. made it funny and yeah, yeah. You know, just his observational kind of comedy that he does. And Steven Spielberg thought it was so funny that he, he was like, let's make that a movie because I think that's such a great idea. And all it was was like an hour and a half of just bee puns. And it's like, what do you expect? That's not like a great idea for a no. film. It's a great idea for a, a, a short. two minute short, yeah. Fact check if bees can get fat. Um, they can't, no. Nothing in like the, the wild can get fat. Nothing, because it just it would just I mean, die. I mean, like, in terms of if you if we captured a tiger and just kept feeding it loads of fatty stuff, it right. would get fat. Yeah. Could we capture a bee and make a bee get fat? We do capture bees. And can we make them fat? N no, I don't think you can make insects fat because they don't like eat for pleasure, do they? Tell that to a spider. What do spiders even eat? They just suck blood, don't they? Do they suck blood? Isn't that what they do? They tie up their victims so they're still alive and then it keeps it warm. And then they stick their little fangs in. God, they're fucking terrifying. <laughs> they're nice. Oh, here we go. It's gonna be a crazy bee car scene like in bee movie. Why do they even try to give them like in these films an original story? Yeah, why aren't some bees suing the humans at this point? Well, it might be funnier if they'd like seen the trailer and they tried to guess the story. Yeah, based on that, and s just to see how close they could get. That would be something. Was the effort they put into this even worth it? Though is my question. Like, did these films even sell? Like, yeah, that's what always confuses me. Yeah, like if because you look at every one of the still covers, making movies. Well, video bring Quaidos down. Oh, is it? Um. Well, like the car's life, there have been three of them, so it must be worth it for yeah. it. Yeah. It's because of the, the grandmas, like the cliche joke where little Billy was like, That my car's for Christmas. 
Yeah. And then grandma with her, her glasses that she needs a new prescription for. It's <laughs> like, I see quads. And then yeah. she just buys the DVD at the, at the pound shop. And but they, they, they seem like they're made to try and trick people. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the grandmas with the old glasses. But like, is that audience really that big? Like, I remember for the not Disney collection, there was one called Frozen Land, which was just some weird Canadian film that was yeah. made. I had nothing to do with Frozen, but on the cover, they just stole the, 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 the like font from Frozen mm -hmm. and put it on the cover. That's designed to trick you into buying it, yeah. like people who have heard of Frozen. And they want to see it, but they're not informed enough to know what like the cover looks like or anything. But like this, the covers are so obviously just fucking yeah. horse shit. But but are they though to people who like uh, so like surface level? Like they don't care about movies or anything like that. Yeah. And they they've just they've got like a young kid who wants to see a movie. If they point at Plan B, they're just going to be like, yeah, I guess it looks like a kid's movie. Yeah, it's, yeah. Got, it's got a U rating or something. This one doesn't actually have a U rating. It's got no rating, but they usually have a U rating if they have one. So that means anyone can watch it. That hive is a sweatshop. It's that bad. Don't know if you should be referencing sweatshops in your kids. <laughs> yeah. Either. Daddy, what's a sweatshop? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm surprised they actually had them flying. Yeah, it's more to like animate and have moving. Well, and I mean, render. it's it's like two frames. It is two frames, but like it, it would be easier to have them walk around. I don't know because this we way they don't have to animate legs. It was like You're right, actually. This, like, I reckon this is way so. easier. I suppose they can just be static. Yeah, but most of them are. What do you think of their like spiky bodies? Well, they've just taken a bee. Because that's how bees look. No, but look at the spikes. It's not like fur like a bee. They're, they're like segmented. I think that's how insects are built. No, but I mean the spikes. They have like Mad Max spikes all over them. Oh, that's supposed to be, yeah, that's supposed to be hair. Yeah, but it looks horrible. Well, yeah, it looks like plastic or something. This is quite an epic action scene, isn't it? It's got me quite tense. It looks like the fight scene. Oh, shit. Oh. Whoa. Why does it sound like a dog? Have you noticed in animated movies, like anything with four legs, ju it just barks? Yeah. It just becomes a dog. I think A Bug's Life had like a dog thing in it. Like an aphid, I think, was the dog. Yeah, I think you're right. There's probably one in ants as well. No! Oh, okay. Oh, it's over. So it ended about 10 minutes earlier than I anticipated. Four, four animators. Better than the other one? <laughs> the other one about bees? I don't know. I'd, I'd prefer to watch this one over the other bee one. Really? Any day. Uh, yeah, Which one's I, I shorter? Ha I hated that one. I really hated that one as well. I think I it think was about five minutes sh shorter. Actually, no, it was really similar to this one. It might have been like the exact same length. I hated that one way more. I just hated looking at it more. This isn't exactly the, the visual you know, pleasure, but... I mean, it's it's choosing between a uh, rock and a hard place, you know? No. Jump! Kick! Pandu! Sun Yut Panda. Sun Yut Panda? I wonder what this is a, uh, <laughs> a rip-off of. Oh, Argy jumped on you. What a baby. What boy, baby? So this is obviously a rip-off of Kung Fu Panda. How did you guess? This is our second Kang Fu, Kung, Kang Fu Panda. Well, yeah, you joined me many years ago to watch the, the Little Panda Fighter, which was one of the worst things I've ever seen. That one was terrible. Video bring quite It just looks like a, a Nickelodeon cartoon. Yeah, it does. But with a bit worse animation. This is probably the most competent one so far. Yeah, I was gonna say. There's probably like a sect of 35-year-old men who are like obsessed with this and think it's amazing. Only 35? It might be 36 by the end of this movie. True. Peter, I need assistance. Speaking of Family Guy, it is kind of Family Guy-ish animation. It is like as lazy. Yeah. 
Family Guy might have the worst animation out of like all of the popular all pop TV. Out of all like popular animated movies. I mean shows. The dynamics a bit different when um the main character has a son. Yeah. It's a big part of the Kung Fu Panda story that he's an orphan. Well you think he's an orphan. But I mean they would have only made this movie off of like a trailer, wouldn't they? I guess. I actually really like Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2. I know you do. You've never even seen them. I've seen the first one, I think. I've seen the first three quarters of the first one in one sitting, and then the last third in another sitting. They're genuinely good. They seem like the kind of thing that would be lame. I just don't find them funny. They're not funny. They're meant to be funny. But they're not like co comedies, really. They're still like, they still have a story. They are comedies, though. Every kid's movie... Yeah, every kid's, kid's movie has to be comedy. comedy. There's enough that works in it that's fun, like... All of the fighting styles, like the animal they're based on, does that fighting style. Like the crane and the praying mantis and all that lot. It's just funny. It's unique. Yes. This is the most competent movie so far. Yeah. By a long shot. They don't have, like, these scenes that go on indefinitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just wait till a dance scene, though. The best thing about Kung Fu Panda is in the first one, there's this turtle. Yeah, tell that to the guy with the and that turtle it. is so good. For it to be so. What do you mean by so good? The character design is amazing. The wise man and that character is really good. It's got some good lines. What about the duck? The duck's funny. I like the duck. Are English people really that hard to come by? I know. Well, call me if I can do a voice. Alright, master. Let's go do some craziness. <laughs> so the guy who directed this also directed Tom and Jerry. Are you serious? For a, a couple years. It must be like a modern one, 2014 yeah, yeah. to 2017. Oh, he also directed a Puss in Boots of Furry Tale, which is also coming up. And also Tappy Toes, which I'm not covering, but I own. Are you going to cover it someday? No. Can I have it then? If you want. I don't want it anymore. So this one didn't actually come out the same time as Kung Fu Panda 1. This one came out the same time as Kung Fu Panda 2. Oh, really? Yeah. And also apparently it says, the back of the DVD box description of the movie has barely anything to do with the film, even getting the name of the main character wrong. <laughs> you see? Should I go grab the box and yeah, check? Yeah, go get it. Make sure you tell me what I missed. You didn't miss much, Alex. He was just doing some battle conditioning. Oh, some battle conditioning. Sounds like something from Metal Gear. <laughs> okay, this is what it says on the backs. Lou is a large, okay, fat, lovable panda who is the sixth generation owner of the Taekwondo Jojo. Tai, probably. What Lou doesn't know is that buried beneath the dojo is the ancient Amulet of Fury. The mythical amulet goes... <laughs> gives its owner ultimate power and protection. When the villainous tiger warrior Kudo terrorizes the small village in pursuit of the amulet, sorry, amulet, it's up to Lou and his ragtag team of martial artists to stop him. Also note, the running time it says on the back is 66 minutes, but on the DVD it says it's like 40 minutes, so it's good for us. Not good for someone who wants value. His name is Koji. Yeah, but it's just for a baby Koji anyway. So what's that main character actually called if he's not called Lou? He's called like Zubo or something. That's right, yeah. <laughs> and he doesn't own the place. He, he's the janitor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just completely wrong. At least this is appropriate for children. Yeah. All the previous ones, like, just are not in any way suitable for children. Whether I'd actually show this to my kid. Yeah, so far, I think this is fine to show to a child. Like, you could see this on, like, TV at some, some time of the day. 1 p.m. 
Don't you think that monkey looks like it's from the Powerpuff Girls or something? Yeah, it looks like a different art style to everything That's else. exactly what I was thinking. I Jim. Yes. Jim. Yes. This is fucking boring. Yeah, it's completely off my attention. <laughs> you know, the best one was that one with the little guy, the little dog, Pip. I miss Pip. I miss Pip. It was like two hours long, but I kind of miss him. I miss his weird fucking voice. Like, recorded on an iPhone. Yeah. What a terrible, terrible film. But really enjoyable. That was the hardest one to get as well. I had was to pay, it? like, so much money to get it. Was it worth it in the end? Yeah. Because every one of them were, like, easy to get and they were, like, one or two pounds. But that one... I guess because they made, like, no copies of it, really. I had to get it off eBay for, like, 12 quid or something. Right. Why doesn't he just do it himself? Lazy, lazy boy. Because he's banished by his own brother, Alex. Oh, right. Sorry, you've been paying more attention than I. He's a tiger. There's one other tiger in the movie. It's just so cheap. It's really cheap. The only thing they like to animate is the mouths. Did you hear that? You really don't remember? What was that? I think they censored out him saying bloody or something. Really? Yeah. I don't need Brian guys. I heard a weird, <laughs> weird cut. You can't win, Slade. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. For the love of Pete. So weird Styles reference. You did that when we were That's not Yoda. Yeah, he got he got the he got the Actually, quote wrong. It's oh. There you go. Oh, there we are. Then yeah. Die. Die. There's no other option but die. Alex, how do English people say die? Oh, they say it like this, Jim. Die. Now die. <laughs> but he just got beaten by one dude. But then he got revenge. No, I mean the tiger dude. These styles references are really weird and out of place. What did he say? He said, do or do not, there is no try. Oh. Yeah, the reference. The director just likes Star Wars. Or the writer. I guess. Ah, oh, well, that was nice. That was by nice. nice. I mean, really boring. That was nice. What do you think of that one, Jim? That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? I'm thinking... Uh, mid... Uh, what are you doing? Stretching. Oh. Uh, mid Re to high seven. Really boring, and I never want to watch it again. But Would I'm you watch it to. again if you fucking gave birth to a five-year-old boy right now? What? Der Prinz aus Eisbten. Der Prinz aus Eisbten. So, this is the famous film Moses Der Prinz. Os Egyptian, a parody or copy of the film Moses. What's it called? The Prince of Egypt. Yes, it's the one. Fantastic movie with. Uh, I remember Voldemort. watching it a lot when I was a child because I like the songs. But so I'd read the back of the cover, but it's in German, so oh. I can't. Cool. Don't know if the film's in German. If it is, just with gonna that. have to end it like right here. <laughs> kind of hope it's in German then a little bit. <laughs> The animation kind of reminds me of um, that Star Wars thing we had. Or the Great Heat. Yeah. Yeah, it does a little bit. Okay, it's worse than that. I heard English. I think it's in English. Yeah, I think I heard English as well. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, no! I've seen this story a hundred million times. Oh, and Argy just farted. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky little smile. <laughs> Let my people go. My grandfather was becoming alarmed at the You're playing with the big boys now. Yeah, he doesn't sound like the same person. Yeah. I don't understand. Why did he just like lick his <laughs> shoulder? <laughs> What's he eating? <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Crocodile eggs. <laughs> Do it for ourselves. They're really cartoony compared to everything else. Yeah, it's weird. I kind of really hate this movie. Why? 
It's like it's just the story of what happened in the in the, yeah, in but the it's story. So fucking hasty. Jim, you should be glad that it's hasty. <laughs> I am glad that it's hasty, but like, why bother trying to tell a story? To cash in on the big, big movie that came out in the same year. It's quite a good story. I like the story of Moses. So do I. Apart from... Uh... The people that think it's like, true. Oh, right, yeah. No, I say story is in like, fiction. It's a good fictional story. Yeah. But were there really the burning bush? No, the burning bush was real. The thing that didn't happen was the the whale in the in the ocean. The whale in the ocean, but he did still part it. Yeah, he parted it. There just was no whale though. The whale is a bit of a step too far. Yeah, it also rained frogs for real. Does it rain frogs? Jim, are you blind? I thought it rained locust. No, Jim. There are frogs and locusts are a separate day. What was the crocodile day? There's nothing to do with crocodiles. But in that new movie with Christian Bale, there's a crocodile. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm not that read up on the Bible, so I don't really know. Maybe you're right. Maybe there are, there's a crocodile day. Crocodile Dundee day. <laughs> Jim? Yes? This is fucking boring. <laughs> no. That seems to be the trend. Why does he have that accent? Destroy this yeah, he's from like Brooklyn. Voice trick that any magician ever learned. How come in the other movie he's saying this to his brother? I think they made his brother the pharaoh in um in the movie, just for drama sake. Yeah, dramatic purposes, it works way more. See, I told you. Why are they all scared of frogs? I don't know. I think they're quite nice. Yeah, frogs are nice. I wouldn't want to stand on them though, because they're everywhere. This is more or less boring than Shopkick Panda. I don't know. Because... Let my or is it like the stacking go. effect? No. Yeah, the stacking effect definitely plays a big part. Because this is making me want to have a nap. I'm not gonna fib. Oh, I have my sleepies. Yeah, we're both right, Jim. What? We're both right. Frogs and locusts. But one under the crocodiles. That's probably just for the terrible movie. I remember it being quite cool in um, the DreamWorks one. It was pretty cool. The with the whale and everything. With the whale. I just remember the music being really good in that movie. Now they all starve in the desert and die. <laughs> what are you doing that one, Jim? <laughs> this is the best bit. This music. This has been the best bit of the whole movie. I guess it's worth it if you want to listen to some fucking sick. Daddy it just, it just makes you think of what they'd put on like the the Sunday school for kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. Exactly how it feels to me. Absolutely. <laughs>
Oh, he'll he'll and like he this. Opera, this is his kind of film. He won't fucking. <sighs> you know, he didn't have to watch nine of them. You know, it's true. So he might think it's fine. This is this is like so nothing he compared to the other ones and the panda one well the past three we've watched including this one no the, i'd say the the egypt one was pretty bad it was bad it wasn't this quality it was actually really bad it was actually fucking atrocious <laughs> this is the best one like objectively i think this is the best one no i'd say the panda one's better than this you think so so far i think this one's funnier I think this one's better written than the panda one. Maybe. But it's like comparing a poo with a poo with sprinkles on it, you know? Yeah, I know what you're saying. There is just something about 2D animation that I just find inherently charming compared to bad CG. Yeah. This animation is surprisingly not... Not the worst thing ever. It's because of the visual style. It's got like a, a distinct art style to it. Yeah. Whereas like, what does... Any of those previous CG ones, what their style been? Pip's pretty unique. Their style is, is I want to claw my own eyes out style, because it's so disgusting to look at. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Puss in Boots to be in a cage for the whole thing. Yeah, I know. It, it's, it is like over halfway through the movie now as well. Yeah. Oh my god, with the dogs, just non-stop. My life they they <laughs> they just filtered it, too. Emery the fucking eight. What? What? They did the same thing they did in the panda one. Oh. What's that all about? What? He just inserted into his asshole. Are you serious? Yeah. I wasn't even looking. Hello, little Lila. I wasn't expecting three rats to be in the movie more than the main character. Then put some boots, yeah. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. See how they run. See how they run. Here we are, Jim Lowe. He's getting his clothes. <coughs> o only 50% of the way into the movie. More than 50%. Whoa. Suddenly got really, like, epic. I didn't know they had the budget for Every one of these films suddenly just becomes epic. That has an epic bit. I'll give it that. That is wrong on so many levels. Uh, uh, fuck you. One of the best lines of all time. Fuck you. That is wrong on so many <laughs> levels. Oh, that's better. Because <laughs> that's not totally creepy. Because that's not creepy at all. Well, that was really good, wasn't it, Jim? Yes, bruv. Thank God, there's only one left. I'm so happy. That That's honestly probably the best one. In my opinion. It's worse than Pip. Well, yeah. No, it's not It's not my favourite one. But it is objectively the best one out of all of them. <coughs> Thanks, Arg. Uh. Did you like that one, Arg? Your baby. Uh. Jim, do you like A Bug's Life? I do, actually. Jim, do you like ants? No, actually. Well, that's what this film's parodying. The pair of them. It's like a two-four. Argy, you dare not bark at me ever again! Yeah, it's a two-four. So they... this is the last movie, and I'm so excited. Do you wanna know why? Because it's, like, half the length of all the others? Or well, because it's the last movie as well. That is enough! Do not do that again! This is already way better than a lot of them, to be honest. Yeah, this is like a different... I'm looking on the box. It looks like it's made by a different company. Fucking hell. Max, go away! Get out! Out! Go away! Do you know what I'm also glad about? What are you glad about, Alex? What a weird intro. Uh, Chris Stuckman is doing this one, so... <laughs> I never, never have to lay my eyes on this after we see this ever again. He's lucky, then. He got the shortest one. Yeah, he is lucky. Well, the thing is, it says it's 45 minutes on the back of the box when it's actually 25. I'm not complaining, like, I'm really glad about that, but... Jim, do you want to know something? Yeah. This film came out in 1998. Really? Yeah. The like, the CG isn't as bad, like, yeah. for 1998, compared to those other ones which came out in, like, 2011. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's better than some of them. Yeah. 
That's backwards. That animation was backwards for it, like, was slithering it? along, yeah. Do you know, it, it's so old and terrible that it doesn't even have a director credited on IMDb. Wow. All it has is the writer, but get this, the writer is also the same producer for Plan B and Fucking Cars hell. Life 3. Fucking hell. Uh, well, you know, all the car Cars Life movies. This is his movies. passion. They forgot to animate the wings. No, there's they're, a little bit of motion. No, they 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 have motion now. From the oh, there we go. Now they're not moving. Well, what the fuck is this? Seems a bit inappropriate. I don't know. That's weird. I'm looking on the box, and there isn't actually a director credited. All it says is written and produced by Michael Schlepp. Surely he directed it then. He must have. But for some reason, they've specifically chosen to not use the term director. That's really bizarre. Maybe there's like a director's tax. Probably, it's probably something like that. The back of the box is so sloppy, there's like a... a thing saying, like if it's region locked or not. And it's got like brackets, USA, Japan, and South Korea. But like the brackets aren't even closed, they just did one side of the brackets. <laughs> These films, like, they never make any sense. So you have to read the back of the box to like figure out the truth. In this case, the back of the box says, It's not easy being an ant, just ask Thang, a wary worker who's building an anthill for Queen Jo, saving Sal Caterpillar from the rapacious geckos. What kind of fucking weird word is that to use on the back of a children's movie? Rapacious. And gathering seeds for her hungry sisters. Poor Thang has only got six legs. But is, but is she spending her time wisely? Are Thang's overtaxed antenna... Missing danger signals. Join this in intrepid arthropod and her quirky sisters as they embark on an action-packed adventure in an unpredictable, tough neighborhood. The backyard. Ugh. Oh, what the fuck? There's this weird sexual thing going on with this movie. With them touching each other's antenna and laying eggs on top of each other and... Oh, quite a few of these movies have had some weird sort of... Do you think it's intentional or just a complete oversight? Because the people who make these films are like these 45-year-old men. Looks like he's having a good time. Not biting that leaf. I don't understand. Would it would it be too difficult to just lift the leaf <laughs> yeah, a little bit? Yeah, just the leaf and a tiny bit higher. It's just so lazy. So if you sit down to write a rip-off Disney, DreamWorks, whatever movie, and you've got to think of names for the main character, is Fang ever something that hits the paper? If you want an edgy character. It's too close to Thong, though. Wait, did you say f Fang? No, Thang. T-H-A-N-G. Oh. Oh, I thought you said Fang. No, that's what the character in this movie's fang. called. Thang. It's also really hard for a kid to pronounce. Yeah. And spell, it's really confusing. So like not a single bit of thought went into this. This one isn't actually making me tired, because just because I know it's the last one. Yeah. Like normally, just no. Like if this was the first one, I probably would be asleep by now. Okay, I'm over this film now. I'm already really bored. I just don't understand. Like, what do you understand from the complexities of an ant's life? Well, it's like, are we meant to be following these ants? Why do we keep going back to that grasshopper? Because these people are con artists, Jamie. They are con artists. So they have to fill their grasshopper quota. They're like, okay, I'm, we're t we're already taking the piss just in premise alone. Yeah. So, what's the what's like the minimal amount of effort we can put in? Like these random scenes. Like I saw the trailer for Bugs Life and Ants. There's something about eggs, collecting food, stuff like that. The the dangers of the wilderness for an ant. Let's just th throw that in. Like, I, I, they must have written this in, in 20 minutes. If that, that's giving it a lot of credit. Why do they all do this? They just have so many scenes that just never end. Where it's just showing something that doesn't know, add so anything to pointless. anything. That was like five, like six or seven shots of just a moth flying. So imagine, imagine this for um, an hour and 40 minutes, yeah? Yeah. With slightly better, more polished models and stuff. But that's what Cars Life 2 was. 
Fucking hell. It was the, it's the only time I've nearly just given up. Fucking hell. Because I remember Ruben had to go, because it was near New Year's or something. Right. Can't remember what the context was, he had to go. So he left about 40 minutes in. So I still had an hour. Just sat there by myself watching Cars Life 2. <sighs> it's probably the most pathetic thing any adult male has ever done. <laughs> I don't think the soundtrack of any of the previous movies have annoyed me as much as this one, though. This is just like what like all the other films by th these people are. It's just like Cars Life. They just use like this jazz stuff. They have like three bits of music in this one, though. Yeah. So annoying. This is like a weird ant orgy. It sounds like it as well. Yeah, it does. And it looks like it. So Jim, what's been what's been the best and the worst out of all of these movies? The best was obviously A Jungle's Life or whatever the fuck. Which is amazing because it's the one we were dreading the most because it's so long. Yeah, no, that was the best purely because be it was so one. funny. And what was the worst one? I like, really which one would you hated... really not want to watch again? I well, I don't want to watch any of them again. <laughs> I really hated both B ones. Yeah, I think my least favorite was that second B one, the um, Plan B. No, not so, not Plan B. The one where they look like babies. Little B. Little B. That was that, the first B one we watched. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That that was probably my least favorite one. Yeah, Ratatouille was funny. Little B was horrible. I don't remember like laughing once at Little B. No. Little and Big Monsters. That was pretty bad. That was bad, but I don't remember hating it as much as Little B or, or even Plan B. Because it's so short. I'm pretty sure Plan B was like 45 minutes long. You know what, Jim? What? When I was walking into town earlier, a bug flew in my eye and made my eye go red. So it made it look like I had pink eye when I was a hairdresser. <laughs> and then it made me think, oh wait, we're watching, I'm watching an ant's life as well today. So it's all like come full circle. Maybe it was the moth from Ant's Life that flew in my eye. Maybe it was. Getting its revenge for your hateful move, movie reviews. Yeah. I feel like, th as controversial as my channel can be, these films are like one of the things every everyone in, who is part of humanity can get together on and agree on the hatred for. What about the people that made them? I don't know, they're probably like... They probably agree. They're like, yeah, yeah, they're pretty bad, aren't they? <laughs> I hope they hate themselves for making this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's done, Jim. We've done, we finished it. We've, we've actually that's done crazy. it. That's crazy. That it, was like it was so many days. minutes as well. There you go, John Wolfson. Like, that's who's responsible. God, that was... That was something. I mean, this one obviously can't be the worst because it's so short. Yeah. Like, even if I did have to watch it again, it's still, like, less time than... You could fit this one in, like, seven times the same length of some of them. Yeah. Right, we're done then. Thank God. Lol. So thanks for watching this video. Um, make sure you check out the trying, the, what's it called? Yeah, the search for the worst, like the whole episode. <laughs> um, so Jim's holding the, if you, just to remind everyone, the worst one ever, Little B. Avoid that at all costs. But <laughs> Life's a Jungle is one you should also not check out, but it's kind of funny. It's somewhat funny. You like it, Argy? Argy loves it. And, uh, fart. did you do a little fart? Oh, but yeah, so, uh, Make sure to follow Jim. Uh, I'll put it on the screen. At Jamie Beltman on Twitter. At Jamie Beltman on Twitter. Any final words, Jim? Um, no.